Once upon a time, about three months ago on a Tuesday, this thing happened in a peaceful, tucked away part of the Bronx called City Island, a place that's many things. To the sailor, it's sailing. To the fisherman, it's fishing. To the soul searcher, it's soul searching. That's me, Mona Bacabella, psychic herbalist. I'm doing my dance to conjure up a good summer tourist trade. But because City Island is home to Italian Americans, to them, it's eaten. No. Here, food is king, and no place was more beloved than the Prince Rosario House of Capamezza Gourmet Catering and Original Wedding Designs, ruled by Sadie and Mike Capamezza. More hot pepper! Whose Sicilian cooking was known for hot colors, spicy sauces, and jumbo portions. Then, one day, there opened across the bay the Royal House of Malachichi of Florence, continental caterers and wedding couturiers, owned by real blue bloods from Italy, Count and Contessa Malachichi. And they brought city islanders their northern Italian cuisine, dainty low-fat portions, pastel colors, subtle flavors. It was inevitable between the two families. There would be bad blood. Shakespeare once said, Hey, what's in the name? But he was wrong. Because Capamezza means half a head. And Malachichi means bad beans. The story begins 4th of July, when our local church was about to put on its annual amateur benefit. What if her eyes were there? They in her head. The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand that I might touch that cheek. Which brings us to our heroine, my best customer, Sadie Capomezza. Abby. You give me so much more than this about for I mean, she weighs 50 pounds more than me. How can I believe that's Julia? Well, you gotta make believe you love her too. And the joy of her life, Rosario Capomezza. The prince of the Prince Rosario House of Capamezza Gourmet Catering and Original Wedding Designs. Rudy, give me a I'm giving you two thirds off, Sadie. Yeah, well, it's still not enough. I'll give it to her for cost. Mary, the food is for the church benefit. I want a better price than cost. Better than cost? We should take a loss. Come on, Rudy, when you give to God, you get a huge tax deduction. All right, half cost. Now you're only halfway to heaven. Go to hell. All right, you get it for nothing. Here's ten dollars for the church. Good morning, Dr. Rodino. Good morning, Mrs. Rodino. Good morning. I break up both arms. My son, the doctor, he fix him. I never saw anyone so accidental prone like Mrs. Rodino. Her son is the most eligible doctor in the neighborhood, but her broken bones keeps him whole. Even Mother Teresa would call a mother like that a bossy scoocher man. You know, Mrs. Rondino's not as dumb as she looks. Married sons, they turn on their mothers now because daughter-in-laws, nothing is sacred to them anymore. Johnny, my son Johnny? Yeah. He married this Mama Del Luis. Sweet girl. Sweet? I said to her one day, would you mind carrying my groceries, please? You know what she said to me? Carry your own friggin' bags, bitch. Oh, my God. Ah, and I look over at my son, Johnny, and he's looking at her like this. Well, my Rosario, he would never, ever treat me like that when he's old enough to get married. So you taking anybody to the charity ball after the show? Not but Bob with the pasta. 
How about I call Angela Mercandanti for you? Ma, don't start with me. What about I mention you to Kathy Augustina's mother and she Ma! Watch out! Idiot, you cut me off. We're going to put you out of business, you Sicilian swamp genie. Hey, I got the right of way. And you're gonna put your sister's ass out of business, you Florentine Mountain Wap. Rosario! I'm sorry I cursed. But if these Malachigis think they're so good, how come they didn't stay in Italy? Rosario, forget about the Malachigis. You just think about playing Romeo tonight. That you're gonna be even better this year than you was last year as Pinocchio. Mona! Hi! <laughs> this Malachichi crisis is making me crazy. We're in debt up to here from expanding, and we may lose the Frederica's the biggest wedding of the season to these intruders. I brought Spigadell. Oh, my favorite. I don't know if my business can handle this kind of competition, mm -hmm. you know? Uh -huh. mm, I haven't lost one pound on my new diet. Uh -huh. And my husband, he hasn't made love to me in weeks. Uh -huh. Well, what am I going to do, Mona? Is there another woman? Blessed Roscoe says, he sees his business prospering. The blessed Roscoe says, keep looking at the sunny side. Good, good. Who's the blessed Roscoe? My new guide. What happened to the angel Vito? His work was done on City Island. He moved on to another psychic named Shirley Belucas in Bayonne, New Jersey. But the blessed Roscoe, is a powerful presence. In the 17th century, when his eyes were gouged and his fingers chopped off and he was burnt at the stake, he smiled and said, don't feel guilty. That's why he's known as the Merry Martyr. You tell him I'm, I'm really pleased to meet him. The blessed Roscoe knows you, Zora. Here. Wear this rose oil when you're meeting customers. The money will come floating in. About your diet, maybe you're having trouble because you're afraid, like I am, that every man wants me sexually. About your husband. Yeah? The blessed Roscoe says there's no other woman in his life. And who's Spadella? Oh, that's our cat. He plays with her a lot. Oh, that'll taper off. Here. Burn these in your bedroom, and he'll want lust from you. The blessed Roscoe says it'll be heartfelt, but quick. Well, look, it's a start. About Rosario? Hmm. I'm smelling a little problem, but a deep one. Oh, no. Yes. I'm smelling him falling in love with a girl he's saying poetry to. Uh-huh. That's her. He's playing Romeo tonight, but it couldn't be with this Juliet. Yeah, smell for yourself. I'm smelling him loving so passionately, nothing stands in his way. This girl playing Juliet, Isabel Fusuli. She's, she's a scoocher man. And, and we're catering her wedding. She's marrying uh, Vinnie Bell de Lamenti. Blessed Roscoe? Blessed Roscoe agrees. I, I, I never thought I'd lose him this soon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The meat's don't go in the sauce yet. That's stupid. Any dummy will tell you they're ready for the sauce. I catch you messing with my sauce again behind my back. I'm going to kick you out of the kitchen. You're going to kick your glass out of the kitchen. No, hey! I'm going to kick you out of no, the kitchen. No, what's going on here? Look at my meat. Is it ready for the sauce yet? No, you got to get out more fat. You're crazy, Sabatricia. As crazy as him. Ma, put your tooth back in. I can't remember where I put it. And don't call us crazy no more. I always call you crazy. I never bothered you before. It always bothered me. It bothers you too? Of course. Well, you should have told me sooner. I'm too old to change now. Mikey, I gotta talk to you in private. Can we go up to the house? Sure. 
broccoli. Stay with the sauce. If she tries anything funny, you throw yourself in front of the pot. Mike, will you promise me that if I tell you this problem, he ain't gonna make fun of me? I promise. You know that I'm psychic. Yeah? And so is my friend Mona. Mona the nut? Mona is not a nut. She's a clairvoyant for a living. And the blessed Roscoe told Mona that Rosario is going to fall in love and give up everything for his Juliet. Every week, Mona's got a different saint or angel that nobody ever heard of who speaks only to her. How can you believe this stuff? Because Mona helps me find the invisible forces here that helps me discover what I'm doing here on Earth. I discussed it in my prayers with the Holy Mother, and she said it was OK with her. You want me to ask her again? I'm going to ask her again. Dear Holy Mother, No, 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 Mother, no, look, please. don't don't bother the Holy Mother with something like this. Look, uh, I'm a little tired. I want to take a nap. You want to take a nap with me? A nap? Yeah. Yeah. OK, I'll be right back. I got Fidel in the middle, so you can hold her, too. <sighs> As is a winged messenger of heaven into the white, upturned, wandering eyes, the lazy, pacing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy, puffing clouds. I seen the whole episode, Monsignor. She overacted with her foot and tumbled down like a wounded rhino. Forsooth. Don't call me no rhino, zitz breath. How am I supposed to get married tomorrow? I hate this stupid play. I told you the balcony was made of plywood. Why did you stamp your foot? I should have harnessed her to the wall, Dr. Rondino. Oh, no, no, it wouldn't have helped, Mr. Luca. It's not broken. No, you just stay off it for 24 hours and you'll be marching down the aisle. All right, boys, help her out to my car. We've got to get you home and get that leg ice. Mingo, what a buffalo! Shut up, you shithead. 24 hours. I guess we'll have to have the understudy play, Julia. Understudy? Oh, uh, Nicolina, where is Nicolina Sausto? Nicolina, where are you going? I don't know the whole port. Oh, I'll, I'll whisper the words to you off the stage. Please, Father, don't make me do this. Nicolina, you only have to do your best. <gasps> OK, Nicolina, we'll try to find somebody else to play the part. I know the part, Mr. Luca. I always wanted to play it. Oh, no, 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 Francis. 
you're, you're too good as the nurse, and it would be too hard to replace you. Isn't that right, Monsignor? What else can we do, Sadie? We're sold out. And we'll have to get refunds. Why don't we call all the dramatic schools and, and we'll find some really nice girl who can read the part from the script? This is a very good idea, Sadie. But let's make sure that all the girls send over their most recent photographs with their hobbies, their future ambitions, and their religious attitudes. Why do I have to be? Mudge, this baby's the girl we have to spend the rest of our lives Wait, with. How much does she weigh? Stop calling. This couple just came in and made a donation, and then they told me their daughter played that part. She'll play Juliet to your son's Romeo. You look familiar. It's possible. Um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Capametta meets Count and Contessa Malachichi. Pleasure. Ciao. Ciao. Monsignore. Monsignore. Look, Sadie, it's <sighs> just for one night, so let's not make a big thing out of it, okay? Okay, Sadie? Sadie? Feel better? A little. There must be a way I can turn around what Mona said is gonna happen. Look, Salvatrice, you think I want Rosario to ejaculate himself out of this family prematurely? But see, did anything Mona ever tell you would happen, happen? Practically everything. How come she told you that we were going to be rich and we we're in debt? That your mother was going to move out and she just asked us for a new mattress? That your friend Sally was going to have the best year of her life and she died? How come? Oh, ye of little faith. Once we raise enough money to franchise our sources and our wedding creations, we are going to be rich. And my mother still may move out. She'll take her new mattress with her. My girlfriend, Sally, she could be having her best year ever right now in heaven. Ma, Pop! I just heard about the Malachichi girl. Pop, could you imagine them asking me to play Romeo opposite the daughter of that, that Florentine Struns? Every bone in my body tells me I should quit right now. Forget about it. Oh, honey, if you feel like that. But the show must go on. Mr. Luca wants me to go introduce myself before rehearsal. I'm going to go with you. What for? Well, it'll give me a chance to see their operation. Oh, but, but I got to go home first and change it to something a little more apropos. Mmm, buffalo mozzarella. <laughs> Delicioso. God almighty, get a load of this place. I mean, these people wouldn't know a hot sausage if they fell over one. It makes me sick to go in there. Oh, man, you look... Ow! Are you all right, Ma? Oh. Do I have a bump? Here, let me see. Ah, it's all right, Ma. <laughs> this uh, Romeo is a mama's boy. What a masculine boy kisses the mother on the eye after three years old. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm sorry, Capameza. Ah, oh, see? This is my, uh... Yes, we have a map at the church. Uh, um, I thought I would chaperone the children to rehearsal because I wanted to be socially au courant. And, uh, because I'm the mother. Uh, please, come in. Uh, Gina just returned from her boarding school and uh, she's taking her beauty bath. Please, to sit down, eh? May we offer you some refreshment? Oh, we have profiteroli, tiramisu, banana torta, eight kinds of gelati, and six kinds of sorbet. All fresh, homemade, homegrown, and hand-decorated. No, thank you. We make all the same desserts. 
plus zuppa inglese, uh, zabayon, cupa maron. Don't tell me you make your own chocolate. Milk, bittersweet, nougat, and white with nuts. From a recipe that is 400 years old. From a recipe that Frank Sinatra himself said was the best he ever tasted on City Island. The president of Italy once ate two portions of our risotto con funghi. He recalled the cara? During the Pope's visit in 1982, the Holy Father had three portions of our clams posillipo to go. In four centuries of operation, our restaurant in Firenze was visited by two nuns who later were canonized, Santa Teresa di Montagna and Santa Rudolfa de Lagatti, for whom our bronzino in Brodetto di Rudolfa was named. Uh, our dishwasher speaks Chinese. Oh. oh. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't run away. The moon or speak, play hide and seek with love. I saw. This is our daughter, Regina. Uh, hi. Uh, 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 d d this is my mother, Sadie Capomezza, and I'm... R r r r r oh, Rosario Capomezza. How do you do? Uh, Gina has consented to play the part of Juliet, uh, even though she must leave tomorrow. Oh, where are you going? Paris. For the summer, to study with the Ballet Russe. Paris, France? Oh, there's so much more to do there than there is here. You can climb the Eiffel Tower and you can go to the Can Can. Well, uh, we, we should go. We're going to be late. It was uh, nice meeting you. Ah! Assassino! Madonna! Che fai? Che fai, stupido? Oh, oh mio Dio! Asinello! Stupido! Cattivo! Vai, vai, vai! Don't you yell at my son! He, he, he bumps himself a lot when he's happy, and he's very happy that he has a, 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 a thin Juliet. You have a very nice bedroom. So, uh, can I drop you whenever I'm on? Drop me? Well, yeah, when Miss DeLuca first works with an actor, she, she doesn't like to have any uh, eyewitnesses. I mean, uh, amateur non-actors. So, Ma, can I drop you or what? No, no, no. It's not far I'll walk. Okay. You dress funny. I like it. I'm smelling her. I'm smelling her. I, is this new Juliet the one that my Rosario is going to give up his life for? Big bosom, strong thighs. Small gula? Yeah. That's her. The blessed Roscoe corroborates. Well, at least she's leaving tomorrow. So uh, maybe no damage can be done between now and then. Am I right? What does the blessed Roscoe say I should do? Nothing. Love is all there is. Love? Is all there is? How does the candles work? My husband told me to hold a cat, too. <laughs> oh, I made a mistake. Those candles are for young honeymooners in trouble. You need something for older eroticism that's capsizing. Here. 
When these burn down to the genital area, he'll be sure to grab you, not the cat. Oh, okay, that's um, $9 for the candles, $30 for the But look, the about reading. Rosario, I, I just can't do nothing. He's too young to ruin his life. Hold the phone. Take these two birds. The one with the yellow ring is the male. He represents your son. Keep sprinkling oregano on his tail, the desire for higher education. The other one is the female. Squint your eyes. You see her aura? Right now, it's white, because the blessed Roscoe is present. This is an aura duster. Keep dusting her aura to keep her love for Rosario pure. Don't let it turn orange, or you're in the danger lower crotch area. And here, keep reciting this chant to the two birds. Yes, love deep. Yes, sacrifice all. Yes, education's first. Yes, in it for the long haul. Okay. That's um, $3 for the oregano, $24.50 for the aura duster, $42.50 for the birds, a buck and a half for the chant. Yes, love deep, you sacrifice all, but she's education's first. All right, as soon as she's in the costume, we're gonna start the rehearsal. Yes, Mr. Luca. I hear that the new Juliet's dress had to be opened up this much on top. That's how big her titties are. I wish I had that problem. Every night I pray that mine will grow bigger. My mother says it ain't the size that counts. It's the quality. Because your mother got small titties. I hope she's built better than Isabel. I mean, with her belly, you ain't swinging to see me. Yeah, well, I hear she's from Italy, so she don't talk English too good like us. Where do you think Romeo and Juliet live? In England. Ain't that where Shakespeare lives? Shakespeare's dead, you dope. How would I know? I don't watch PMS. I got ham and provolone. I got jambata and anchovies. Provolone and eggs. Hey, Ronnie, Beeks is here. Hey, where's the pepperoni? Malone. Huh? <gasps> Snack time is over. All right, come on, let's get to work. Huh? All right. Gina, you have just met Rosario, so I want to assure you that the kisses will be done discreetly. Huh? All right, with your bodies apart, you're going to just let your lips just brush lightly, lightly like a butterfly's wings on a rose petal. Because you got to leave the passion to the audience's imagination. All right? Go ahead. Wait, keep this much space between your torsos. Okay, let, let your lips just touch for one brief instant. Perfect. Okay, everybody, come on. Places for the top of the show. My granddaughter Rita's playing the part of prologue. Mikey, if you could have seen the way he drooled when he looked at us. Boys his age is supposed to drool. But Mike, Mona says he's going she to give really up everything. She really sees you coming. Now we got two friggin' birds who can't stop crap and sticking up our house. What are you talking about? Nothing. Hey, I saw your lips moving. Don't tell me nothing. Where's your tooth? Huh? I forgot. There they are. Look at them with their Florentine noses in the air. It looks like they're smelling something. They're looking this way. I am sure that Regina having to act with the son of these Sicilians make her as sick as I am. We have no choice because we have to win over their low class clientele. Mm -hmm. Rosario is the day so young, but Moostruck night. I me said I was long. Was that my father that went hence so fast? It was. He is so handsome. Just like Errol Flynn.
Flynn in the old movies. Yeah, he fences good. You'd never know he was clumsy. Of course. It's not to me she speaks. But why do they make him wear the blue pants? It makes his dingle look too big. Shh, ma. God forbid, where is this girl? Juliet! Juliet! Anna, who calls? Your mother! Madame, I'm here. What is your will? How eloquent she is. Yes, but it's a mismatch because she makes the Sicilian mama's boy look like a buffone from the circus. <laughs> <laughs> for my prayer's sake. Then move not while my prayer's effect I take. Oh, boy. Thy drugs are quick. Thus, with a kiss, I die. boy, all the Sicilian trick in the back of the book. But why she don't stop him? Tell me why. Because she has to act as if she's dead. And he's taking advantage. Mona knew. The blessed rascal knew. Hey, that's what masculine acting is. You kiss the girl like you go for her. Her aura is changing. What? Nothing. With her mouth open. Um. Stop! I don't care if I lose the business. I don't raise my daughter for this. I'm going to pull the curtain. Hey, whoa, whoa, let me go. Front. Let me go. Get you don't out. understand. Get they are violating my daughter. Let me out of here. Piero, come back. Let's stop kissing. Come back. Please, let me go. You got some nerve, fatso. Those penny horse. His dingle looks even bigger now. Oh, dear God. Is he stiff? I think he's stiff from her. That's just a towel in there, so they don't hurt it when they do. Oh, it's a towel. I'm so relieved. Let me see! Get out of my way! Stop that! Stop that. Stop Sicilian son of a bitch! This is so embarrassing. It's growing. I will kiss thy lips. Aptly, some poison yet to hang on them. To make me die with a retroactive. My poor baby has to kiss the Sicilian animal now. I hope she bite off his lips and spit the right into his face. Must be method acting. Gina, a butterfly's wings. A butterfly's wings. Oh no. Her aura, it's turning orange. Go for it, Gina. You love deep. You sacrifice all. If she were my daughter, I'd break her head. They must have used two towels. Here he goes again. Sit down, back up. Hey, you want to wrap it in my mouth? Don't move. I give it to you. Oh, yeah, step in the turtle. 
You'll be quiet, you fool. Kiddo, come back. The kiss is finished. You're going to ruin her death scene. Oh, happy dagger. This is my sheath. The rust. Oh, and let me die. Move. You have to move. Stop, Rose. That thing is over. What? I want her home as soon as the curtain comes. What do I say? Fuck you. Get out of my way. A banana. A real banana. I will challenge you to a duel. Mikey, let's get him to the banquet hall the minute the show is over. Right. Ma, wait in the car. We want to extricate him unbeknownst. I knew it. He was stiff from her. Shh. Come on. Some shall be pardoned. Others shall be punished. For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Come on, Rosie, you gotta help with us. So get out of here. What are they doing up there? They want to come on. Stay, stay. Come on, Max, nice. get off the stage. Get off. I was so disgusted over how you kissed that boy. It was pornografia. All right. Tonight we go home, sleep the night good. Tomorrow you are in Paris, we forget about everything. Oh, no, no, Papa, at the banquet, huh? The whole cast is oh, going. No, no, I will not set foot in that campanessa Cabrin Hall for one moment. And neither should you. And that is final. Magnificent performance, Gina. See you at the banquet? No, Monsignore, she cannot come because tomorrow she has to get to her to go to her port. Oh, I understand. But I want to thank her and you two publicly. You just come for that. Boy, I didn't fall asleep once, except during the parts where people were just talking. But in the swordplay and the smooching, terrific. What about my Francis? Oh, he was great. I believed he was her nurse. And he was very manly in the girl's clone. You're ready for Broadway? And Tony, you was great as Rosario's uncle. I wasn't his uncle. I was his cousin. Well, whoever you are, you all made the evening very bearable. Papa, I'd like to say hello to the guests, huh? You say hello to the girls, only to the girls, you understand, eh? Hello and goodbye, huh? You know, next year we're doing Julius and Caesar. I'm playing Mrs. Caesar. You ever see the smoke in this way so ridiculous, eh? It's obscene. What they are trying to do, recreate forest fire? <laughs> Stupidy. Oh, look at them. They are green with envy from our decor. When they taste our food, they're gonna wish they were another business altogether. I don't see the daughter. She's over there with the girls. You two are so sexy up there. I thought I was watching Mel Gibson and Michelle Pfeiffer. Where did you learn to kiss like that? Boarding school? I asked my parents to send me. They were afraid I'd lose my cherry. They don't know this, but I lost it to a guido when I was 14. I've been to the Capri Motel. Uh, what is it, a Capri Motel? The horniest place on City Island. It's got water bed shaped like the back seat of a car and porno movies in every room. I lost mine there, too. I've been a virgin almost a month. And we know who Mr. Lucky is. Ma, 
We're all victims of peer pressure. What about you? Mm, um, my parents are very strict. Wait here. I'd like to call up Mike and Sadie Capamezza and Count and Contessa Malachichi. Which just shows... You want to dance, Rosario? Our good cause can turn business rivals into good oh, yeah. friends. One and two and three. What is that? What is this? Hey, how's it going? Andiamo subito. Bring Regina. Hello, Mr. Federico. Mrs. F. Federicos. We must not go without to talk to them. We must get their daughter's wedding. Ah. How are you? Your, your daughter, Carmela, recite the line of Lady Capulet with such artistry. And she reeks of intelligence. <laughs> and that is why she deserved the grand wedding we have prepared for her. Every guest will have roast goose or bistecca chateaubriand. Carcanella con tartuffi. And amaretto creme brulee with the wedding cake. What about the smoke? Oh, yes. Every man smoke a big cigar. No, 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 no. We like the smoke effect. Oh, the smoke effect. Ah, we love smoke effect. But uh, our smoke will be finer. Not only to the ankle, but all the way to the cap. Yes, and softer. Like in a Fellini movie. The snakes are trying to steal the Federicos. Mm. What do you say, Ralph? Hey, how, how you are doing, you? Angie? Hi, how are you? Hello. They're not looking. Now. Huh? <laughs> For Carmela's wedding, as souvenirs, we take a picture of you two from your wedding, and we print it on the front of each coffee cup. And engraved on the inside, a pink rose entwined with a silver ribbon that says, Carmela loves Tony, and vice versa. Uh, compliments, Angie and Ralph Frederico. I've never seen that before at a wedding. I am sure they do it in Coney Island. Yeah, they make a good-looking couple even off the stage. Oh, your daughter and your son. Now I know why the Malachichis and the Copper Maces get along so well. They're making a match. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 you see, he's just got his see, driver's they license. They have only the Shakespeare in the rushing off for culture to Paris for the ballet. It's, it's he is trying to pursue his intellect, taking it's geometry it's too this summer. He's practically a juvenile yeah. delinquent. Yeah. The other Romeo did not come close to you. Did you kiss him like you kissed me? I never kiss anyone like I kiss you. I take it out. Uh, they don't like me for you. They don't like anyone for me. But you in particular. Why, because the folks are rivals? Because you are dangerous and sexy. Uh, easy, easy. Sadie will design candy-covered almonds wrapped in lace with a bow, a plastic bird, a feather, and a simulated zircon ring. Well, the Malachichi say they can do a soft Fellini smoke up to the knees. Well, we can do bright Terminator 2 smoke up to the chin. Watch this. With, with a double Technicolor Walt Disney rainbow. Do this? 
did, did I make the rainbow too romantic? You both do. You make a camouflage. It's your fault. Stealing the Federicos, forcing us to show off. Wait reason. a minute. Wait a minute. Where are the Federicos? <laughs> this is exactly what I want, only more purple. <laughs> Is this where all the boys take the girls? Yeah. Have you ever taken anyone else here? Yeah. My mother when we needed to talk. And once my grandma. You don't have a girlfriend? No. How come? After saying all those Shakespearean lines, too, it's, it's kind of hard to come up with the right words, but uh, I've been waiting for the for the moon to send down a, a, a goddess from the heavens. And then it must have done it because uh, she's come. my whole life for you. Oh, no! Wait, 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 wait. Don't be scared. Only do what you want to do. Gina! Gina! Where you going? What? What? What did I do? I'm crazy in love with you. I never wanted to be a ballerina. Mother and father both gave up studying for the opera when they got married. And I thought that their dream for me was, was mine too. And mother wants to keep me away from men until I am famous. And father wants me to marry only royalty. That is not come broke like we did in Firenze. In my parents, they named the business Prince Rosario after me. Your parents were right. You are a prince. I'm not going away. Yeah, you got a right to think for yourself. <laughs> Let's go tell them. Who? You, you and me? You won't let them intimidate me, will you, huh? Absolutely not. I'm used to dealing with crazy people. My grandmother is a complete fruitcake. So you let me do the talking to your parents, OK? <laughs> okay. If we knew where they was, wouldn't we tell you? If your son dishonor our daughter, I will hold you responsible. Our daughter is an angel of regal bearing, a treasure, a princess from a fairy tale walking in purity. And what's our son, a big bag of shit? Mike, please don't use the S word. Our son, he's a, he's a gentleman, and he's an altar boy. He's, he's a lover of all mothers. I will call the police. I will call the FBI. Sono I will... arrivati le bambini! <gasps> they have to just drive up in the car. See? Nothing from nothing. Let's go to bed. What will you say to them? I'll tell them, man. Forget about Paris. She's with me. Get it? Sad. Oh, let's get out of here. My father will kill you. She's just a baby little fushy, wushy, fushy, the bushy cat. She's a little baby calico cat. She's a little kissable cat. She's a little. Oh, yes, thank you, Blessed 
Roscoe What's that? Nothing. Just keep doing what you're doing. You got it. Hello. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh! What? They, the kids, they left. We gotta find out where they are. You know, Mikey, I, I'm not feeling so good. I'm a little nauseous. Get me a cup of mint tea. Hello. Oh, Mona, could you please do me a favor and ask the blessed Roscoe if he knows where the kids are? Hold on a second. Uh huh. The blessed Roscoe sees their expectation to consummate. Oh, boy. Does he know where? He sees water, a bed, the letter C. Uh-huh. Oh, that's it. I got to go. Three people have asked me to try and make rain. Water, a bed, the letter C, the letter C. Mike, we're, we got to get to the Capri Motel before they consummate in a water bed. How do you know they're there? Because it all adds up. My parents are great in the crisis. Wait right here. I'll be right back. Ma! Pa! I need you for some advice, huh? Ma! The only one home is my grandma. She's sleeping. You will not ever leave me, will you? No. No, no. I, I, I love you. From, from the tip of my heart to the depth of my soul, I love you. I'd like to see you around. It's real messy. Io voglio fare amore con te. Amore? Be tender with me. I'm a virgin. Get up. I don't see his car. Good, good. We're gonna save them from ruining their lives. Oh, Romeo. Romeo, where for Alta, Romeo? The moon, Julia. I'm on the moon. Oh. I don't believe it. Is it them? No. It's, it's Dr. Rondino and Mr. Luca. Luca. What does this mean? Means up, down, up, down. They ain't coming here. Let's go home. What a bed. Let us see. makes you think that I can sense it with my mother's intuition mm. 
There, he took her home and he was sleeping. Go back to bed, Rosario. Come on. You know, I feel bad. I didn't trust him. I'm gonna go back and apologize. Rosario, please forgive me. Uh oh. We love each other very deeply. <clears throat> and she's still living a lie to make her parents happy. And that is why we slept together. You slept together? But, but you didn't have sex, did you? No, they were bobbing for apples. Oh. Not Rosario. This girl, she's Juliet. Oh, I did this. I left the candles burning. I misread the blessed uh, uh, Moscow. Uh, 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 look, look. look. Um, girly. We're adults, my wife and me. Mm -hmm. You had a uh, bicentral rendezvous for two with my son, and you should wallow in it tomorrow on the plane. You know what I'm talking about? Well, what my husband is trying to say is just cherish the bliss you had with Rosario in, in, in ballet school, and then maybe in six or seven years... No. I do not want to go to Paris. Yeah, and if she goes, I go too. What? You got to graduate high school to go to college. And what about this summer? You and me were going to be father and son and cure pepperoni together. Are you trying to tell us that you would give up everything for this girl? Ma, do you want me to be happy and live or miserable and die? <laughs> These are my only choices? Yeah. Excuse me a minute, please. Sadie, I can't talk now. I got another client here. Oh, this is an emergency. So is this. Talk quick. Me and the blessed Roscoe have got our hands full. <laughs> for seven years, sneaking around in cheap motels and forbidden bliss on damp mattresses. Rosario says he doesn't want to live without this girl. Why me? Why me? What am I going to do? Oh, the blessed Roscoe's poking me. He says we'll marry when his mother dies. Could you hold it down for a second, sweetheart? I'm trying to commune here. The woman is 94. I may die before her. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The blessed Roscoe says love is not enough. I thought you said he said love is all there is. Love is all there is, but it's also not enough. What does that mean? I don't know, Sadie. Figure it out. His old mother suffers so. Do you think he might have some humane herbs to help her to heaven? Hey, the blessed Roscoe and me are healers, not hitmen. Love is all there is. Love is not enough. Open this door. I want to speak to your son. We demand to know where our daughter is. Wait. Open this door. My, my son ain't here. The car is in front. We know he is in there. C quick, hide her. No. It is time they found out who I really am and who made me true to myself. We will tell them, right, Rosario? Alack. There lies more peril in mine eyes, Juliet, than 20 of their swords. Uh-oh. Don't be a sucker, Rosario. Play dumb. Regina! What are you doing here? We have something we want you to know. Something very important. Tell them. Who, me? Um, please, c come in. Uh, join us in our parlor, and we'll have a little tater tate talk. Oh, may I 
offer you a banana? Oh, how about a gummy bear? We don't want a banana gummy bear. We want to know the ABC and the D. Um, did you ever see the episode of As the World Turns, where, um, uh, Emily tells Barbara that she and Gavin had a, um, <clears throat> a mystical odyssey on the beach? Or, or maybe you read in the National Enquirer about Cher and her latest guitarist being caught on a motorcycle? Well, Rosario and Gina, unthinkingly, while, while we were out, they were, uh, they were swept away in our house. What? What is she talking about? They, um... They, they had coitus that, um... Wasn't interruptus. Yeah, and now she don't want to go to Paris no more or be a ballet dancer anymore. Santa Rodolfo, Madre de Dio! Have you lost your mind? You throw away your life for this! You're getting on that plane, if I have to drag you by the hair! You're making Gina cry. She wants to be with me. Is that is that is that such a bad thing? I thought you killed you. That was so Let go of him. Hey, hey, get back in that chair. You want to scream and yell like your wife? You got every right. But you try to choke my son again, I'll throw you in the bay. Hey, I can take care of myself, Pop. Shut up and sit down before I choke you myself. He don't hurt. He don't hurt no sir. He don't have anybody. He did not ruin anybody. He made me happy. She's my dream come true. You shut up. I get my gun. I shoot you. You ain't shooting anybody, Count Dracula. I am Count Dracula. This whole family is Frankenstein. Please, let's not turn this into a tragedy. It's a comedy. Because they love each other. And, and, and look, I'm laughing. <laughs> Come on, you laugh too. <laughs> Everybody laughed. <laughs> Putana! Putana! Don't you ever get put in my house again! She <laughs> don't mean you're a putana. I do, I do! And you get nothing. Nothing! You go from this world to where you came! With nothing! <laughs> Please. Oh, oh, don't reject her. I, I let the candles burn. And uh, now they love each other. And love is all there is. You shut up! I knew this was all your fault. Candles! Voodoo! God is going to punish you! It is not voodoo. It's love charms. You're a witch! A witch! Don't say una strega. Una strega di yes, Don't call me a witch! I know what? I have lost my patience with you. Just get out of my house! I will never forgive you for this. You'll hate yourself for giving up the ballet. I was only doing it for you. I don't want you to give up your talent for love like we did. That was your choice. This is mine. Oh. oh. What about Rosario? He's going to give up everything for her. That's right. Everything. Rosario have a nothing. He don't have a job. He don't even have a certificate of high school. Oh, yeah? Well, he's giving up his future where he has everything. His high school certificate, fame, wealth. Our business will be his someday. Eh? Hey, you are broke. We check in the bank. You don't, you owe $122,000. And now everybody in the whole neighborhood know that you are nothing but a low-class job law. <laughs> How dare you call us a low-class job law? We are just as pretentious as you will ever be. And maybe the whole neighborhood should know that you tried to sell your title in Italy and nobody would buy it. We looked it up. Son oh. of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I will throw you and your wife, both of you, in the bay. Oh, yeah? Come on, come on. Try it. I'll give you beating. Don't stoop to their level. No, no, I want to give him beating. They have no breathing. We breathe plenty. Yeah. But he deserve a beating no, no, I want no. to give. Bien, bien, bien. I was champion of boxing in the University of Bologna. I give him a beating he never forget. Come on, you want a piece of me? Come up here. Come up here. Oh, no. I want to get the son of a bitch. No. No, I want him. I'm going to kill him. Let me out. 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 Let
got him! I want to kill him! I want to... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, leave them, leave them, leave them. No, what you... I'll no. strangle you. Come Let me get my hands on you. I am exhausted. Wait a minute, I'm going to punch him right in the mouth. You are stupid and you are nothing. Let me at him, you chicken shit peck of head. You make me cup of coffee, no? Yeah. I hang them. I wish they were not my parents. Look, 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 that's like uh, wishing your foot wasn't your foot just because it's got a bad fungus. I can never go back to them. Huh? Look, maybe they're just obnoxious temporarily, huh? In the meantime, you're going to be the daughter we always wanted. Mm -hmm. I told you my parents were great. Look, uh, Rosario, now that she's under our sexual auspices, your behavior has got to be, um, according to the rules of Queen Victoria. You know what I mean? Kosher. Yeah, here's one of Grandma's bathrobes. And you're going to sleep inside there with Grandma in her bed. You see, sex is a gift from God. And you two have chosen to share that gift. But now we're going to take that gift, we're going to put it back in the box and under the tree, okay? Because you see, Mikey and I, we're responsible now. I wish you were really my mother, Mrs. Capometsa. <laughs> Good night, Gina. Good night. Good night, honey. Good night. Choose me over the other woman. What other woman? Your mother. I never have to choose. I love you both, and she loves you too. You heard her. Why did she say we should not sleep together? I am not a putana. Hey, hey, hey. Your mother said that, not mine. You raised your voice to me? I did? Yes. Sorry. I, I'm sorry I insulted your mother. Our first fight. Yes. Me too. I still got the potato gnocchi and the garbage cell to cook. The Vesuli battle of Mette wedding is a killer. Where the hell's Rosario? Five o'clock, he ain't up yet. <sighs> He's probably tired from talking to her through the window all night. He's tired. I got practically no sleep, and when I did sleep, I dreamed about you and you know what. Oh, Mike, come on. Ah, we were on top of the small banquet table. Yeah. I had one foot on the ground. Yeah. The other foot up in the air. Yeah. And with my other foot. Oh, <laughs> Good morning. Good evening. Go uh, put the clams in a fra diavolo sauce. It's too hard staying away from Gina. And it's stupid. And we already had sex together. Why should she sleep in Grandma's bed and not mine? Because, because Grandma, Grandma can't, can't get, get her up pregnant. pregnant. You just can't keep me from her. Rosario. Hey! Isabel Fasuli is here with her mother in a panic. Oh, I'm caught in a zip of Sadie! <laughs> Gown split open at the church during the I do's. She's been eating chocolates for two weeks round the clock. I'm nervous, Ma, okay? I'm nervous! Give me that chocolate box. Spin it in my hand. All right, this is what we're going to do, Adele. I'm going to take this cabbage rose that's in the back, and I'm going to put it in the front, and then we're going to take this big cabbage rose, and I'm going to put it in the back. Ah. And nobody will know that she gained a few pounds. How about 20 in two weeks? Some of us gain weight because we feel that if we have everything, people will envy us. Yeah, ma. People envy me. That's why I eat. Now go out and stun your guests and surprise your enemies. Come on. 
Wait, Ma, I gotta get my shoes. Fidella, look out! Watch what you're doing. You almost killed another cat. Don't you dare eat another thing until you leave for your honeymoon. This is the last fitting that I am putting Sadie through. Mr. and Miss Capometso, I want you to know that Rosario just burned his finger in the kitchen. Now, I don't know what you said to him about me, but you hurt him very, very deeply. And now, for the first time as Mr. and Mrs. Badalamenti, please welcome Isabel and Vinny. Because of you, there's a star in Vinny's heart. Because of you, Vinny's heart had a star. Well, because. Yo, Ma, Ma, everybody listen up. I just made a big decision I want the whole world to know. Gina, there's something I should ask you from the moment I first saw you. What? Will you marry me? <laughs> now will you be my wife? Oh, Rosario, yes, I will. I will. Okay. <laughs> Be happy. Happy! We'd be happier if you were like out of high school. You're still babies. Babies! Telephone! She know how to cheat, Jake! Pop, my body's addicted to her. I gotta get married. You get married when your brain is mature, not just your pubic parts. More pigs, knuckles! Coming up! The answer is no. You're too young. Ma, please. please. Your father didn't tell because it's not legal. It is legal with parents approval. Didn't we just say no? This is annoying. My parents just gave their approval. What? Last night, they hit in Rosario's guts, and they threw you out into the snow. They miss me, and they want me to be happy. More fried octopus and zucchini sticks. On the fire. Very nice your parents miss you. But if they gave their approval, they got a couple screws loose. My parents happen to be highly cultured aristocrats. They would never make a cake like that. This cake happens to be our deluxe glamorama. And nobody but us matches the little plastic dolls to the live wedding party. In Italia, these strawberries with the gold roses, they would be a laughing stock. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, in these parts, they're the cat's ass. More school jelly marinara. Ready to trap. I think what it is is that you miss your parents, and that's why you're acting so nutsy. I am just trying to teach you what's in bad taste. Miss Capometsa. All right, some pepperoni fritters. If there's any one person who should be teaching somebody something, it should be me. Have you know that I starred on wedding do's and don'ts on the local City Island cable channel, where I pointed out that bad taste was better than no taste at all. Am I right, Rosario? Apologize to Gina for calling a nutsy. She just insulted me and your father. Well, it's true. Her parents' decorations are less gabon. Who's a gabon? Not a gabon. More pig's knuckles. What the hell are these people eating the hors d'oeuvres with? A shovel? Mate, Watch ahead. We got a problem. Yeah, I know. We're out of pig's knuckles. Now, how come I hear that the Malachichis offer my wife's brother Jackie that friggin' Oompa Loompa the exact same deluxe wedding as Isabel for 50% less? They're undercutting, Joe. They lose money at that price. The Malachichis may use our menu, but their portions, they're, they're so refined for people like you and your families with large gourmet frames. I want a refund. Now, or I will never do another affair here again. And that goes for all the Vasulis. My wife's side, the Annunciato, my mother's side, the Brunos, the Bellamentis, the Piscatellas, and the Mastro Giovannis. We can't. We're paying off our loan. Come help me. Isabel threw up doing the alley cat. I told her not to stuff herself with the pork and the plum sauce. All right, not casual. Maybe nobody will notice. Nobody will notice that she has vomit on her wedding gown? Sadie, do something. All right. 
Here, here. Wipe her off with this rag. And uh, here. hang this car freshener on her. They say it's the latest thing. Rosario, why don't we talk about this later, please? Don't make him choose between me and you, huh? That's not a very nice thing to say. Hey, if we're old enough to want to make love all day, we're old enough to get married. It's easy to make love all day when you're not married. It's much harder when you're happy. That's Let's... right. Where are you going? Her parents' yeah. house. At least they want us to be happy. You'd go live with those sneaky sleaze bags. Oh, how dare you say that about my parents, sir? Keep quiet! I'm talking to him. We speak the truth because we love each other. Yeah, well, here's truth. You're jealous of us. And here's another truth. I don't even know if I want to be in a catering business. Hot stuff coming through. Can't believe he left. I can't believe he doesn't want to be in the catering business. They're ready for the Polynesian poop of flowers. Hey, what happened? Our heir apparent just walked out on us. And what happened to the bird? One of them just killed over. Oh, my God. It's the female fairy mother of God. Please save her. Why are you so hysterical? Mikey, don't you get the symbolism? I jinxed the bird. If she dies, I will have killed her with my thoughts. Sadie, thoughts don't kill. Please, Mike, rush her to the vet and don't let her die, please. I can't come to the phone having an out-of-body experience. Leave your name and number after the beep, and I'll call you back before Saturn is in retrograde. Oh, boy. Let me tell you a couple of things about your mother-in-law, Adele, that you don't know. She auditioned for the original movie, Jaws. You know why she didn't get it? Her mouth was too big. <laughs> She walked over to her girlfriend, she said, you know, I was stuck on the escalator for three and a half hours. He said, why did you walk down? She says, I was going up. <laughs> Monsignor, Monsignor, can I talk to you for a minute, please? <laughs> you see, an anonymous underage couple partook of gratification coitally, and I'd like to drop something on their heads, but I don't want to be interfering, and a bird symbolizing the female in this couple is at death's door. Are you, are you familiar with the blessed rascal? The merry martyr? No. But I have a feeling Mona Bacabella is. You don't think she's a nut, too, do you, Father? Sadie, there are people who think I'm a nut. First, the blessed Roscoe said, love is all there is. And then he said, love is not enough. That's the riddle of the Sphinx. Love is all there is. But when is love not enough? I've been working on that one myself. Mm. Oh, that's so comforting to know, Father. All right, I'll do this for you. I'll give you another riddle. Who are you when you're not a mother? When I'm not a mother? Who am I? Monsignor, I don't know. <laughs> now let me tell you about my mother law collagenate. This woman is so fat that she was crossing King's Highway, a truck went around her and ran out of gas. <laughs> She thinks mutual orgasm is an insurance company. <laughs> but not with the mother-in-law jokes. How about the gaga that mother-in-laws have to put up with from daughter-in-laws? Nobody ever talks about that. Think. Keep your mouth shut. Who needs to listen to this? My daughter-in-law. That strush. Comedians, they have no respect. You're not even funny. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just... Get off the stage. You stink. Oh, it's just a joke. You don't know dick. You're not fine. I got a son-in-law. I got a son-in-law. Get off. You Mama, Papa, they did not want us to get married, huh? I really appreciate your acceptance, Dad. You don't mind me calling you Dad, do you? Hey, hey. Oh, what are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? What are Someday you will pink us. Don't you come back here again. Hi, yeah. You're lucky you're in her room. I'm standing in the parish yeah, tomorrow morning. Under guard. My father isn't here. Get off. And burn this vulgar tapameza rag. Mama. 
solo per te la mia canzone vola. Oh mamma, non tu sarai più giù bella sola. locked her up. They give her a police escort to the plane tomorrow. Well, it's for the best. Those, those people, they're poison. Hey, if she leaves, I never want to see you again. Rosario. Rosario. You know how much I, I adore you. You don't get it, do you, Ma? It's over between us. It's her turn to adore me now. So, uh, you came back. That's, uh, that's good. What happened? Her parents, they, they, they lied to them about getting married, and now they're sending her off to Paris tomorrow by force. Who are we lucky? Mike, is the bird gonna be okay? It's got a broken wing. It's in shock. With the x-rays, we're up to 200 bucks. The vet wants to know how much more we're willing to spend. Everything we got! Broken wing. And, and, and shock? What does this all mean? Why does everything always have to mean something with you, Sadie? Everything isn't always what it seems to be. I'm looking for what really is. I, I want to be a... I want to be a good person. I don't want to change people by pushing them. I want to change them with my love. Anything in the name of love is God's work. <sighs> We're like holy warriors and shit. Heaven is here where Juliet lives. Every dog and every cat and every little mouse may look upon her, but Romeo may not. distracts him with the loud music. I spiked the sauce. In the confusion, we snatched Gene away. This is a great plan. I love this plan. I'm calling my potion Rosario's Revenge. Look. This is so exciting. I humbly accept this award from the City Island Cultural Society. That gonna work. Are you kidding? This stuff would kill the hairs on a Calabrese's ass. As Italians, be proud to be from the country that gave us Dante, that gave us Da Vinci, that gave us Puccini, that gave us Michelangelo. Oh, how cool. Bonarot. Piero della Francesca, Tintoretto. It's a sabotage. And my family's been marinating since before Mussolini. Oh boy. They're coming this way. Ah! As Shakespeare would say, may the merry farts begin. Mary, Mary, oh, Mary. <laughs> Dream! 
Yeah, hoist yourself up. I got you. You came for me. You came for me. Quick, go get us a note. I want them to think we're committing suicide. That way, when they find out we're just a loafing, they'll be grateful. Oh, you are so smart. Here, quick, climb down my back. Uh... All right. No, move it over. Move it over. All right, I got you. Ow, my ear. That's my ear. Oh, God. <laughs> Pussycat. You seen him? Big orange guy, three legs. Here, tripod. Tripod. Here, tripod. Where are you, tripod? The coast is clear. I think we can get away now. By this time tomorrow, we'll be in Tennessee. And married. We gotta get back to my car before they get back. Let's go. Oh, I love what you've done. I love that we're tricking our parents. They think they know everything. Oh. Yeah, who needs them? We got each other. Oh. Oh. Should we not be going yet? Yeah? Uh, we got time. <laughs> It's no use. I can't find the leak. I 
I regret any moment I've lived without you. We'll be together forever in the afterlife. Um. I promise, if the children are all right, we will divide the neighborhood in equal part. I will go after only the upper echelon, and you will go after the people of your label. <laughs> You're a real fair guy for a big snob. <laughs> I thank you very much. Please, dear God, send somebody to guide us. Look! Quick, stop the car! that you heard me. Both of your kids is in danger. But doesn't the blessed Roscoe know where they are? The blessed Roscoe can't help you. You are creating the meaning to your life. You got the power here. You will find them with this. Yes, this and this and this ain't enough anymore. Now go. You ain't got a second to lose. Go. No, but where are we to go? I don't know. Uh, help. Help. We have been around this neighbor three times. Now we must go back and check the police. A little longer, please. I I'm trying to find them. With this. Ow. You all right? Yeah, I, I fell down. I hurt my arm. I think your arm is broken. Mike. What? Mike, it's what? me! It's me! I'm the bird with the broken wing! I'm the one who has to be healed. What is she talking about? I don't know what she's talking about. They, they, they will not commit the suicide. It's me that wanted to die from losing him. They're, they're all open. Piero, turn the car around. They're in danger! I thought you just said they're just eloping! Maybe they were, but, but now they're in danger. Look, look, look at the cloud. Don't you see the snorting dragons? I don't see the cloud. What is a snorting dragon? Piero, turn the car around. Yes, with a kiss, I die. I think you get a big kick out of. You want sedatives just like the bird. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, Sadie. I would have been indisposable without you, you know? I know, Mikey. I am so happy you're looking so well, Sadie. From the bottom of my soul, I want to thank you that you find the children. You are very spiritual. Thank you, Piero. 
I'm sorry for acting so um, Nazi with you, huh? <laughs> you forgive us? That's what mothers are for, huh? We were too young to get married. But we believe the experience has grown us up. We want to get married because we believe the meaning for you saving us is so that we could be together. What do you think, Monsignor? At 16, sexuality overwhelms other feelings. Can they love themselves enough so they can love each other more? Another mystery, Monsignor, huh? Mike? I vote yes, because they got us over a barrel. Maria? Pierre? One moment, please, eh? They are in love. That is a fact. We agree to the marriage. <laughs> Under this condition, the appetizer and the pasta will be at your catering hall. The entree and the dessert will be at our catering hall, and there will be no smoke effect, or the deal is off. Before we begin our ceremony, Rosario and Gina have written their own vows, and they'd like to make them at this time. I'm sure the marriage is going to mature them real fast, and everything's going to be all right. I promise that I will never wear clothes that you don't think I look good in. And I promise to give you the space to play your kind of music. Well, at least they're not on drugs except for each other. I'd like to thank my parents for making it possible for me to go to Paris with Gina for four years to study acting at the Comedy Francaise during the day and Cordon Bleu for cooking at night. And my parents for allowing me to study ballet and archaeology and for supporting me in Rosario while we find ourselves. I hope they're gonna be happy, Mikey. If they're not, it's really none of our business. Oh. <laughs> I figured it out. Love is all there is means that love is real. Love is the immortal soul. So if you're a parent, you let your children follow their hearts. And, and, and love is not enough means that even if your kids don't know what they're doing, if you're a good parent, you say, it's okay. It's your life. We release these doves, and our love soars with them. I think the birds being so healthy and happy means that the kids are going to be, too. I wonder what that means. I now <laughs> pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thursday around 3 o'clock. But that's another story.
I saw your face, the face of love and angel. You are love, and love, it's real, it's real. Thank <laughs> you.